My name is Mei Wen Ho, and I wrote this book called The Rainbow and the Worm, The Physics of Organisms. Now, the, the, the rainbow in the worm, actually, the title comes from the major discovery in my laboratory um, that all living organisms are liquid crystalline. And when we first discovered it was such a surprise because, you know, we, we looked at, we looked at um, organisms under the polarizing light microscope that earth scientists and chemists used to look for, at rock crystals and liquid crystals, but these were static things. But we saw this <laughs> little fruit fly larva hatching from its egg and it was like a psychedelic worm <laughs> and it was just flashing rainbow colors so the only way I could describe it is just you know life is <laughs> life is basically a rainbow in the worm the only way this rainbow yeah this this worm can look like a rainbow, a dynamic um, rainbow display, is because the molecular motions are coherent. So if you've got uh, like coherent motions that are much slower than the light vibrates, at every moment the light passing through, it sees order. And that's the basis of the generation of the colors. It's, it's the same principle as the rainbow, basically. It's a refraction, double refraction. And so that in itself was a very strong evidence that the organism is coherent at the molecular level to a high degree. So even quantum coherent, and there are other, a lot of other evidence that persuaded me that that was the case. And the most important, um, thing about the coherence is this um, water, the 70 to 80 percent biological water. And this water is itself liquid crystalline. And that is the water that enables all the macromolecules to work, that enables life to exist, without which nothing is possible.